Hey, what is up, guys? This is the Kung Fu Guy here, and today I have another video of martial arts training at home for you guys. Today I'm going to talk about body conditioning, which is the bones, the muscles that you want to make them strong and endurable when you are fighting. Then when it get hits, it won't tear down or hurt hurt you that much. Okay? You might have seen a lot of videos on YouTube of people breaking stuff with their arms, with their heads, the Shaolin monks also use breaking staffs on their back, on their on their head, on their arms, legs, whatever. And of course there is the tight kicker who can kick a, ba a baseball bat with their shins. Okay, that's quite intense. Don't try that at home if you're not ready. Okay? How can you start working on body conditioning? What I did when I started is just I I really wanted to build a strong body. Okay? because I was quite short, I was quite weak I couldn't build too much muscle back in the time but I did want to condition my bones and muscles so what I did, uh, I've searched on YouTube some videos and I found the, the, the best way to start and I think it is correct is by hitting yourself in the areas you want to strengthen probably all the areas of your body that you, that you will get hit by just simply using your your wrist your, your punches to strengthen them up now this is a good beginning you don't want to go too intense just like you don't want to start pressing it, double your weight on bench press just in the first day of work uh, of, tra of training uh, of your training you don't want to go too hard don't want to take a stick and just start hitting yourself that's wrong it should be uncomfortable yet possible which means you want to you want to feel you don't want to get a red red uh, red skin in the beginning you want to go easy enough so you feel it but that your muscles have and muscles and bone have time to rebuild themselves okay now another good point that I want to make clear to you is that bone density which means the bone strength is uh, the most common way to develop it is by doing the, working on the muscles that are around the bone okay by doing let's just say squats you strengthening your entire hip and knees areas uh, and all the bones that are connected to, to them and then making them a bit more dense same thing with push-ups pull-ups all, all exercise that works the, the muscles around your body will strengthen a bit the, bones that are underneath them. Now, if you're thinking to the, uh, to, to the future, you want, you want to be really strong, you want to break stuff, not on your bones but on your muscles, you want to consider also that a tight muscle will be really painful to, to use as, as, as a frontal, uh, to get a frontal attack aim. Okay? Let's just say you're sparring someone and he gets a low kick on your quads and your quads are very tight and short then it will hurt way more than if they were a bit more stretched and are, st and are still strong work on those muscles just start punching yourself once that get easy to you you can use a partner I show you just a video now of me and my, uh, and my friend are punching each other we've been doing that for a few years now so we can go quite intense but as you can see I'm stopping it before I'm even reaching my limit Okay? You don't want to go too hard on body conditioning because if you break something, you cannot train at all for the next two, one or two months. So go easy on body conditioning. Fo focus more on avoiding getting hit in a fight. You just say dodging or counterattacking without getting hit. You can work on that. You can work at the same time. I would say I would recommend going two or three tr uh, body conditioning sessions. A week you want to have at least a day or two of rest between to let your body really recover from this trauma you got okay if you go too intense your body will not have time to rebuild itself that can create a lot of stress issues and body developing issues okay now for the side effects of of bone density developing well at least right now, if some of you may, may know, please tell me in the comments, but as I know right now, no one has ever researched and found that you're building 
strong bone density by uh, by martial arts will eventually have a side effect which makes like your bones to crush down when you're old age okay but you want to make sure your training are still correct just like you don't want to go too intense on on muscle training you don't want to go too intense on con uh, of body conditioning anyway guys this is it for today i'll see you in my next video train hard train smart see you then peace